Well, hello, friends and soul family. Beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading, and today is Monday, November 13th of 2023. So happy marvelous Monday to all of you out there. I hope that everyone is doing so very well. So today is the new moon in Scorpio. And so, oh, I need to repaint my fingernails. Um, today is the new moon in Scorpio. And so we will be reading out, uh, or I will be reading from the Moon Energy, a practical guide to using lunar cycles to unleash your inner goddess for the new moon energy today. Um, yeah, it is Scorpio season. And so, oh, and I forgot, I guess I totally forgot to do the November energy reading. So I'll have to do it after I finish this one. But yeah, so today, this is what we will be doing is reading the... November new moon energy and the new moon and Scorpio so yeah so all of my readings are intended to be timeless meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message so if your guides have led you here your spirit your ancestors your higher self source all that is the divine or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it then there is a message here for you so use your intuition to tune into what that message could be for you so let's get into today's energy so it is november so we will be reading first the november new moon energy so here we are so the November new moon is all about introspection. So ah, think back within like the past like week or so. Have you found yourself going in, found yourself going inside thinking more about what you need to do within your own self? Um, that is this new moon energy coming through for us. So let's read it. November New Moon Introspection You are standing before an energetic and symbolic portal. This new moon invites you to look into yourself and become aware of your potential so you can activate your creativity. It reveals your yin and you need to know how to embrace it. Recharge your soul through introspection. Develop your intuition and follow the path of alignment. This is a season when everything ripens and brings us the seeds of the future. Embrace the dark night in all its depth and confidently let it descend into your center because this is where you will find the light you need to illuminate your inner temple. Everything is in you. Everything always was. Acknowledge the power you have to be your own light in the darkness. Your third eye lights up its brightness. Wait. Your third eye lights up and its brightness fills you. You are no longer alone. The goddesses, guides, and allies you have worked with for months are still by your side. You now know that strength comes from your belly. You are its guardian. Tonight, pass over to the other side. Open yourself to the symbolic experience of death and travel between the two worlds to allow precious, precious karmic healings to take place. Take ownership of this creative and mystical part of yourself. Ah, oh, wow. That is amazing because we did just have the 1111 portal and, um, just with the cards that I've been pulling, yin energy has been coming through. So like yesterday, yin energy came through. And on the 11.11 portal day, 
yin energy came through as well. And so it's interesting to see that now in this book that is not even connected to the cards is talking about yin energy. So that's amazing. About It's definitely about tuning into our feminine aspects. So yeah. Okay. So Ajna Chakra, the third eye, the intuition center, is situated in the middle of the forehead between the eyebrows. Meditate with the mantra of the November new moon while concentrating on the sixth chakra. Feel its indigo light grow brighter and spread throughout this area of your body. Mantra, my creative power is connected to my imagination. My creative power is connected to my imagination. Ah, I love that. Sit in that mantra. Sit in the energy of that. My creative power is connected to my imagination. Anything that you can imagine, you can create. We just have to put the effort and the energy behind it. Intentions. So the intentions to set for this new moon. I awaken my creator yin while carefully showing my rhythm. I awaken my creator yin while carefully showing my rhythm, slowing, my bad, slowing my rhythm. <laughs> I awaken my creator yin while carefully slowing my rhythm. I love that. And so this is the third eye descent ritual. You will need your mo your moon journal and a pen. Open the circle. Sit down in a meditative posture with your eyes closed. Consciously slow down your breathing. Ask Lilith, the embodiment of creative power and goddess of the underworld, to accompany you on your descent. Visualize your third eye in the center of your forehead. You may even feel a warm spot. Place your hands over the third eye. Slowly use your hands to bring the third eye down to your uterus. Keep your hands on your belly. Wait. Open yourself to messages, ideas, new projects, and new desires that may arise now or in the days that follow. Write them down. Give thanks to the goddess. Close the circle. If you are a male, you can still do this energy by bringing it down to the area that, you know, if you were a woman would be your uterus. So just bringing it down to the lower part of your belly. So yeah, even though this is, that is still the feminine aspect, you know, that's still where the feminine energy lies within all of us so yeah if you decide to do this third eye descent ritual yeah it seems it would be amazing i actually don't have a moon journal and so that would be i'm pretty sure if you don't have a moon journal it any journal would work if you you know journal regularly use that journal so yeah, so let's read the mantra. My creative power is connected to my imagination and the intention. I awaken my creator yin while carefully slowing my rhythm. Amazing. Okay, so now let's get into the deeper aspect of the new moon in Scorpio and tune into the black moon energy. So the black moon energy is the karmic energy that we have um, experienced in past lives with within ourselves. So, oops, okay. So we are going to read this black moon in Scorpio with the Priapus in Taurus. So Taurus is the opposite sign to Scorpio. So. Um, yeah, I'm excited to read this. So, Black Moon in Scorpio, Priapus in Taurus, Enslavement versus Anchoring. 
The black moon in Scorpio made you an enigmatic being. Your charisma, your exceptional ability to connect to the invisible world, and your extraordinary psychological capacities made you shamans, witches, or healers in your communities. Magic, the esoteric world, and your pursuit of the cycle of life always pushed you to go further, sometimes even the point um, sometimes even to the point of enslaving your disciples. The downfall of this black moon unfolds in this dark area. Using seduction, desire, and psychological finesse, you manipulated other people to preserve your own upward movement. Your greatest fear is connected to the people you abused on your karmic path. You are now haunted by the fear of being manipulated. Priapus and Taurus. Priapus and Taurus will develop an immutable force, stability, and honesty. You keep your distance from any kind of manipulation and mystification and have a natural gift for listening and intuition that you use to serve others. This black moon is the most deeply rooted of all the signs, vibrates in rhythm with the earth, and motivates you to defend your planet. Your willingness to improve life and make the world a better place prompts you to create projects that bring people together without putting yourself at the forefront. Your lively spirit is greatly admired, but you sometimes wear yourself out because you have a hard time saying no. Your fidelity is undisputable, unwavering, and without any ulterior motive. You protect yourself from devious people. So, whew. So, as it said, is enslavement versus anchoring. And so, with the Black Moon energy in Scorpio, the past life kar karmic part of us was the enslavement part. And the current light side, the opposite side of that, the counterpart to that, is us anchoring. Anchoring in all of the light and positivity that we can so that we can create a better world for us and so that we can balance that karma that we all experienced from our past life where we were, you know, enslaving others. So, yeah, that is, uh, I love that because that is really deep, deep healing. And, of course, how it said the November new moon is about introspection. And if there are things that you feel that are coming up that you don't, that you don't know where they came from, it could be from a previous life, something that needs to come up at this time so that you can finally um, transmute it and release it. So... Yeah, this new moon energy is very powerful. Of course, you know, still being so close to the 1111 portal as well. So, yeah, that is so amazing and so beautiful. So, I want to thank you all for being here. Ah, if you found something that you resonate with in this message, then please remember to give the video a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel if you are not already I would love it and appreciate it so very much so ah <laughs> oh, yeah there is a lot of powerful energy coming through a lot of energy of realigning and clearing that which is no longer necessary for us to carry around in our current incarnation so Release whatever needs to be released and, you know, know that this time when we release it, it is for good. So, yeah.
So that is our new moon in Scorpio reading. I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day, evening, afternoon, <laughs> whatever. And it, with that, I will see you all in the next one.